good start. Yes. Um, Coach, you know, obviously Taylor and Cam have been two of your biggest, uh, you know, scorers this year. What did you see from them today, and, and what's their dynamic like as a duo? <laughs> they were a dynamic duo, right? Uh, I think the big thing I saw, especially uh, from Taylor Soul in that second quarter, and then from both of them throughout the, the whole second half was that refuse to lose mentality. And that's something that you almost have to have uh, when you're getting to this point in the year. And that's something that you also rely on your senior and veteran players to have because they know, one, how important each of these games are moving into the end of the season at, to the end of February, but also how it's sometimes just the battle of wills in a game. So it doesn't matter what your records are going into these games toward the end of the season. It really is anybody's game, especially at this level. So I thought that they did a nice job securing uh, the fact that we were going to will it to us. And I thought, you know, credit to Pitt, uh, he had them come in here and, and they had a great game plan with the way they denied us one pass away and really put the heat up on us uh, with our ball handling. So I thought they played a really tough game. What was your halftime speech? Because you guys came out with more energy, went on a 15 and 0 run to stop the third. Hmm. I wish I, <laughs> I wish I could take credit for a great halftime speech. It was just really just a little bit of adjustment and just getting us to, I think more than whatever we said at halftime, it was more getting over the slump of that first quarter coming out. Like we were a little bit like sleepy and, and not really uh, very into what we were doing. And sometimes that comes from just day off. We're usually playing on Sunday. We've never, this is our first Tuesday game of the year, a little bit of out of routines and out of sorts. So We'll blame it on that. Uh, and, but I think these guys coming out of the halftime knew that they had to turn it on. Uh, what was the thought process behind implementing the full court press in the third quarter? Oh, uh, well, we started actually in the second quarter. And, and, you know, I think for us, that's always a good spark. And when we saw that uh, their point guard went out of the game, we knew they were kind of short on ball handlers. It kind of gave us that kind of extra push to like, hey, let's get into it. And it was also great that we weren't in foul trouble at that point. It's really hard to get into a full court pressure package like that when we were in foul trouble. But we had no foul trouble. Their point guard was out of the game. So it kind of led into easy, uh, quick, um, you know, good defense led to some easy offense for us. Taylor, what was behind your thought process to get you going coming out, I guess we'd say, to end the second? Mm -hmm. I think um, just trusting my defense and the team's defense. Uh, like coach said, like we started to press a lot more. And when you start to press and you get easy baskets, um, it takes the weight off your shoulders a little bit. And so we got, I think like, it's like three steals and like five possessions, um, those are easy baskets. And so just trying not to overwork, um, but just find the, the spots in the offense that are working, whether it's getting to the free throw line um, or whatnot. And so uh, that was working for me today. So I was able to get comfortable offensively. Um, Taylor, with you and Cam being two of the more veteran players on the court, uh, what's your relationship like with her and what's your dynamic with her? Mm -hmm. With Cam, it's always just trust, like whether one of us is having a bad shooting night or in foul trouble or whatever it may be, it's just continue. Like the thing that has to be continuous is making sure the other person knows that they have each other's back. Um, and so that's something I preach to her all the time is she's a great offensive player and she's working on her defense. And so um, if she knows that I have her back, no matter what's going on, uh, and just to keep working hard, then I know if I got someone on my side, then she can get someone else on her side and, and that can go to the rest of the team. And so that's just where that relationship kind of works from. Dan. There we go. Sorry. That's on mute there. Um, Coach, you mentioned at the end there, uh, or you mentioned in there just about the importance of, of playing end of February. How do you kind of balance the, you know, the the knowledge that you're, you know, playing these meaningful games in February versus also making sure that you also take a one game at a time approach to, to you know, not overshoot one game, look at the next one or, or keep things focused? Right. I think you just said it. That's all we're doing is just one game at a time. So, you know, the, really, we look at it right now. The only game that matters on our schedule is, is Thursday's Florida State road to win you know so we got to go there just focused on Florida State can't really look ahead this time of year you just got to play one game at a time um and then both for Taylor and Allie I, I noticed that there were times that hit came out I think it was in the second fourth quarter and they only took I think 
not in shots um, in general, um, where, whereas they'd taken more in the first and the third. Um, how do you prevent that? It didn't look like the turnover numbers were much different for them. I know there were the, so a couple of those exchanges where you got those quick turnovers, uh, but just, you know, what did you do on the floor that were able to prevent them from getting looks at the basket? Yeah, we just like stuck to our scout defense. We knew that some girls struggled with the shooting more, so we would stay in the paint, and that really allowed us to help in on the big girl. And yeah, just our scout defense, I would say. I like that. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> towards the, like when you notice that, I think it was when we stopped letting like one just drive like uncontested to the basket. And so like when we were off the ball playing more team defense, it's not necessarily that we were forcing them to turnovers, but it was forcing them into more difficult shots later in the shot clock. Um, and so, I mean, if you're taking up a whole 30 seconds and you're kind of taking bad shots, um, that's a positive on our end. Uh, so I just, again, take that to our scout D. Allie, you want to talk about your two charges or three? How many did you take? Two or three? <laughs> I don't know. Did they call them the third one? Uh, I think they called it a block. I know, I know you got two. Yeah. Two. I know. Darn. I don't normally take charges, but. That was our scout defense. You, you, moved, your, you moved your feet today. <laughs> I was I proud of you. Feet. And it's easier to take a charge than it is to move your feet sometimes. Right. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. We're smarter, not harder, Tim. 